like one of the cleaner like yeah. kills I've seen. I can still like picture that in my head perfectly. Yeah, no, he is definitely one of the better shots in the league. That's for sure. Once again at home, thank you for your patience for those sitting on Scumpy's couch. Thank you guys for watching and your patience as well. I know, you, I know you've been waiting. Shout out to the couch. Oh. An attractive bunch there, but now into the map one we go. Invasion to kick it off. The best hardpoint teams in the game versus Carolina, who is trying to regain a little hardpoint stretch and really just get a win on this map. Owen six. We'll see if they can find one here. Gwen getting involved early as he starts out 2 and L. Felony with a double, and it'll be some time in the hardpoint now for the Carolina Royal Ravens. Yeah, you know, Gwen just maybe trying to hit a nade out, TJ. Playing a little bit around that uh, the spawn there. He's able to find one. It's a nice trade from Gwyn off spawn. So they're going to control the right side of the map for now. Some early time, 20 seconds before we start rotating over towards P2. It's Gwyn just with that rival already. Six engagements on the map. He's just going to try to find as much time as he can. But you can already see Shotzi and Dash. He's just going to try to rotate control. Treehouse and that street to get set up for P2. Yeah, they are set up early, but uh, one of the first dominoes will drop, and it's instantly followed by a second. Shotzi and Dachi torn out of this one. Clay sending it forward, able to take his one trophy. Get out of my way as well, and just like that, everybody sent back to spawn for Optic Texas. So that early setup they had over the street, pretty much gone, but now you've got kind of this four-on-four -four bashing each other outside the point. Nobody actually able to get in and soak up time. Yeah, I mean, kind of worst case scenario there for Optic, right? Two players, as soon as the hill pops get taken down, you then see Pred has to rotate through. He gets caught broken as Kenny's setting up for the hill. So you're not getting the time if you are Carolina, but you're setting yourself up here for a very strong P3. But Optic doing a very good job fighting at the tank, getting through and finding a little hill time. Yeah, it's like, you know, if you're the team pushing right for the break, if you lose that first player, Maybe it slows you down a little. If you're the one set up, suddenly people's heads are on a swivel. You're having to pick up something you weren't before, and it just unravels so quickly. And that happened there for Optic for a moment. But now they fight back in. They have that close spawn. They're able to do that. And they'll be looking for a lead change, however insignificant it is. I lie. They're tied up 30 to 30. It's our next hard point. Pops, you got a bit of separation now. You're inside the point, but... Who's that lurking in behind? It's got TJ that might have a chance to play spoiler. Well, yeah, he, he's off spawn. He spawns palace side, so just behind enemy lines. And Optic knew that. A couple of players were looking for him towards that tank street, B street, but not able to find him. And he's going to wrap all the way back. His shots he's taking down back. Yes. You have Kenny back there, so maybe one more chance at this if you are Optic. Nice shots there. And, yeah, that's going to be it. So two dead here for Carolina. They get one player off the hill. You get 24 seconds of that early time. You get a little bit more of a setup. It doesn't fall apart right as the hard point pops. So you at least enjoy some of that time. But what was the stat we saw, which isn't one I've really seen us use all that often, but sort of the points off of a break, which was 15 seconds for Optic. You get a break here, it's going to turn into about 2025. So you saw a break to stay in this. We'll see how the next transition works out. Yeah, I know. Great job by Optic. I, honestly, flipping the map and then also getting the rest of this time to pretty much tie the game up. So they do a very good job. That's behind Kenny and Dashy. They rotate over towards that. P3, but now focus on this P4 middle courtyard. And again, both teams just kind of playing for map control. And if you've been watching the qualifiers, you've been seeing this very more often. And it's just how difficult it is to find time here. <laughs> but trying to set yourself up for that P5. Yeah, it's like everyone was sort of focused on the rotations, rotating right side. So it's like everyone, there was like no spawn up. So it's like they're spawning palace and they're spawning behind this palace. And it yeah. just ends up being kind of this mess this map. But now, now you get what looks a little more normal. You have Optic kind of spread across that mid map in the hard point, pinning Carolina Royal Ravens back at Palace. Starting to enjoy some of this time. Is Kenny now on five in a row? Looking to get one more and maybe a streak. And we'll see if he'll be able to do that. But some comfort for a moment there for Optic Texas. Kenny, there it is, Cruz earn. Yeah, able to earn it. They're just taking their time right now because they know they have P5 spawns. Just trying to keep Carolina pinned behind that 50 yard line. Prend with a big one, one there on the fellow. He's just gonna back on up now, reposition. This is exactly what they want. A chance here for Optic Texas to get a big chunk of time. Yeah, and like you were talking about like P2, like that first gunfight is when they lose and then things start to unravel. Now Pred, Shotzi getting going, winning these early gunfights right as the hard point pop, getting a bit of separation between them and the spawn for Royal Ravens and enjoying some objective time and enjoying some beamers there. Shotzi rips Glenn off the box. He's now on three in a row. Pred finally drops, but I'll tell you what, he did his early damage, set up this hard point. No, he did it. And then a great job by Dashy. Uh, you you kind of see the comms with the arrows. He just backs all the way up to make sure that they do not get those back. 
parking lot spawn. So Shotzi on five in a row is cut down 15 and eight for Shotzi. Can Carolina maybe find some of this time to keep this game close. And, well, to be fair, the one thing, too, with Carolina Royal Ravens, which I didn't actually look at, was, you know, they're 0-6 on this. What is it since the spawn change? Which I'm not sure of. That's one thing I forgot to check. So maybe maybe they're thinking a little more confidence here. Maybe the spawn change. They're able to get something done. They're still battling in this one. Down 17. 16. I can't do math. Yeah, and win 16 and 11 with this rival on four in a row. So you still have that cruise on Kenny to work with. Now he's going to find five, but Shotzi's going to take him down. So big kill out of Shotzi. Stops the crews from coming in. They are all just grouped up around yeah, him. They're trying to find this guy. <laughs> yeah, everyone just looking for him, and he's getting multiple. He's at six. That's a cruise from just being behind him. lines. There's three players at P1. You just said he died off a of five spree about seven seconds ago. I mean, now the guy's on seven. He is erupting. 22 and eight out of Shotzi. It keeps going. Eight. Backing down from nine. He was getting double chilled. He's wisely going to reposition for now. Streak in hand. Teammates enjoying the time. Felony finally able to kill him, but he got loose. They're just hoping behind that spree in that play, you can maybe set up here a little bit earlier towards P2, but not going to happen. Carolina do a good job recovering. They're going to have a, a nice push here, but Optic in control of P2. Let's go to a listen in with Optic Texas. you really get to see the power of the streaks on full display there. A moment ago, you had four. Three on Optic available, one on Carolina Royal Ravens. You get one called in for Texas, instantly answered with the cruise in from Royal Ravens that used theirs to secure some of this time, and suddenly a chance for a lead change, but Kenny says no, sir, as he gets out of that, uh, well, Froggy had a death to the streak that he gets spawn killed. He was going through it for a moment. Yeah, but I mean, in the list, P2 kind of goes the same way, where uh, Carolina, they have street, they have street control, but Optic fight on through, they're able to earn some time. So it kind of all comes down to P3 for me, right? Last time, it was the final 20, 25 seconds. Optic were able to cash. That was the difference. This time, you get the full 40 to 50 points yeah, out of yeah. Carolina. Now they are in the lead. And what, you have two minutes on the play clock, so that might come into play as well. Another cruise coming in after Kenny's able to get two. So you get them out of the time for now. Dashie's in. I believe you have one more cruise left for Optic Texas. But they were in a tough spot. You know, kind of pinned back house. You've got all the map control for your Royal Ravens. It's a big sequence there. Kenny's able to get two as he spawns up. You get one with the missile. It gets you out. It gets you out of Palace. Now you're looking to make some plays in the backside of it. Shotzi. Loose once again. Yeah, he's able to find, uh, he wins another one on one, of course, as, as he has been. This is really the Gwyn versus Shotzi show. Look Both of these flip. players coming through. And as you said, yes, yeah, spawns flip, but fellow, the last player lurking, can he just find a kill, keep them off of spawn? Are you going to even check this spot? So when is he going to go? Maybe wait for his team. You see all the arrows just kind of looking around for fellow. Well, he is going to pop on through. Surprise. There is the kill on the Fred, playing his life now. Great patience out of Fellow. He had to be. He was the one guy in a position. Oh, a potato! 
stays up, tosses it back, tries to chow, but Dashi is there and prone and will win it. Gwen, though, trying to bring it back. 172, 172 on the scoreboard. Texas, they are in for now. Great job flipping out from the Palace Spawns and getting some time. And despite the waiting and lurking felony, they're turning this into time. 20 seconds left to go on the point. Only 90 seconds on the play clock. And we're gonna go to a Carolina listening very quickly to see how they can deal with that into this game. Even you are not Fred. Top shot to me, dead. Nice. That's a small I'm getting a. No right I'm getting a. Oh, okay. Old weak and stun. He's hitting small. Hitting small. small. Hitting small. 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 One shot, Fred. Absolutely. That old Dashi. One shot. One shot. One shot. I got him free, sir. A mid tank. Shots east. Dashi old. Dashi old. Push your mid. Dashi old in the hill. Old in the hill. He's left on me, Dash. He's front DVD. They don't turn. They don't turn. I'm just staying down in time. He's close right on me. He might turn on me. Blue tank. Back blue tank. Blue tank. Cut you weak. Five a trope. Five a trope. One was DVD. Beat down. Beat down. Beat down. Beat down. Beat down. Beat down. Let's do it. Blue tank. He's mid. Mid. Four. 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 He's playing gas, right? They should be. Should be. I might split them. Look for split. I'm looking for fire tank. Fire tank. Fire tank. Going. It's on fire tank. One split. One split on us. I'm fucking looking at you, Cindy. I'm on the line. I'm behind him. I can help you. Yeah, he's behind you. And he's behind me. Oh my god. Cafe, Tony. Cafe, Cafe, Dad. Cafe, Dad. Cafe, mid tank somewhere. Mid tank, mid tank. Mid tank. Push left side. Left side. Left side. Left side. One shot, Ken. And any time. Left side, Tommy. The trip down. One new me, Brandon. I hear you on you. Brandon. We're gonna have to pinch around here, guys. Okay. Yeah. Kenny was on the left side. Cafe, Pred. And Pred and Cafe weak. Pred and Cafe weak. Kenny's laying down. Beat on. Kenny wants to lay down. Nice. Pred Cafe behind them. I got one. Cafe. I think my favorite part about that is like you get the four down clean, right? And they're like, we should be spotting him gas. And Clay goes, I might split him as he pushed forward to the street. Well, you sure did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that just happens, right? These players know all this, but again, it comes down to sort of this P2 setup. You heard there from Fellow, we're going to have to try to set up this pitch, but that is going to be a big four dead for Optic. You have Gwyn now up the street. He should be the first man for Carolina. 19 more seconds needed for Optic to close out this map. It has been a back and forth battle between these two. Shotzi leading the way, 36 on the board for him. A monster performance on it. Kenny takes two before he drops. Six points needed to close it out. 25 left here to get it done. Might be able to do it now, just trying to stay up. Also take the chow is Dashy. Ball game, map one done. A heater from Shotzi. Our point went for Optic. They're the favorites in that mode and they get it done, but I mean, you were scrappy if you were Royal Ravens for a lot of that. I mean, you had your chances. I oh think yeah. If you were in Carolina, I think you're probably pretty frustrated with that. I think both of the P2s before this last one that we had, that's gotta be a little bit more where maybe, you know, you're not earning a lot of time, but you gotta keep Optic off of it. Right, because that allows them to get back in the game. And then the first P3, because you saw the second P3 that they were able to cash, and that gave them the lead. You have this setup, you, you play through the first couple of hills to, to do it, and they just lose some key gunfights. And that, well, it could be part of the story. Gwyn goes off. You see the rest all negative. Clay at one point was 6 and 15. He, he struggled, finishes 15 and 32. Not the best game from him, but as ugly as some of this scoreboard was for Carolina, they still only lose by 50. Yeah, no, no, no. You managed to stay competitive. Uh, you have your opportunities, like you said. Unfortunately, you're not 0 and 7 on invasion hard point, but also it's just like the individual moments they they mean more now to change the cruises and, and the plays that they can develop and turn into. I know there weren't a lot of maybe necessarily game-changing moments. Like the counter cruise you saw for Royal Ravens will really turn into a nice three-hold. Um, I think my but, favorite part was the listed and yeah. Fred's like, Fred's like, cruise, cruise. And Ken's like, oh, because he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he just ran out. He's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that, I, and then right after, I think he's like, Clay Spawn killing me or something. Yeah. He, he was going through it. But uh, you get three cruises. He obviously gives you some options. They're all leading to kills now. i am be honest, I didn't even know that room that fellow was in was back there. Just tucked away. Yeah. Just tucked away. And that's one where now you're relying on the communication. They know they're missing one. You're calling names. You know, I think at Optic, listen, you heard that. They were calling names while trying to make sure they had control of everybody. Just couldn't find felony. But that was also a big moment. Like when you were pen pal side, Kenny got to use the cruise to get out. That might have been the biggest cruise. Gets you out, able to flip the map then, turns in some time on P5. And uh, you get the dub. And it's also a big problem because. Well, you just you've had some, it's because the respawns have been when you've been susceptible to losses, usually been the map one. You come in, you get that one, you start off on a strong foot. All right, here's the, the game flow from that. Yeah, just very close optic. Lead for the most of it, but you see right around that second P3 is when Carolina takes the slight lead. But they're able to bounce back at that P5, what you just kind of talked about, getting out of that palace setup. 
yeah, winning the game. But I, I just think yeah, the P2s, the first two P2s for Carolina, if they're a little bit cleaner, they can find some time. Well, to be fair, they might win like, this game. Some of the P2s, though, like, I think Optic was like the early rotator. He's got some clutch kills if you were Ravens that you just need to do more with. Like, you, One thing, you, you have, have the those chances. spawns. Yeah, you have those spawns yeah. and you want to keep them back, pinned back Palace. Yeah, it's just they couldn't. It, it was just like the stalemate. I think that's why. I think you looked at me during the one of the listen-ins, you're like, there's like two minutes left on the play clock. Because yep. a lot of those P2s just turned into like Nothing. four people on the other side of it, nobody in the point. And yeah, you'd like to at least get some of that time if you can. But uh, what did it end up being? Like a minute left on the clock at the end? Yeah, Something, yeah like it slowed down a lot. Like, well, the game clock did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody was on the hill at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps. That helps as we get through map one. We get ready now for search and destroy. And uh, this has been one we've had question marks around for probably Royal Ravens uh, for this team, just expecting improvements to come, waiting to see if they can do it. And um, Optic, who have, I mean, been solid. I mean, not like a, a phenomenal search team, but they No, I think if you're an Optic fan, this is where you want to see the most improvements. Yeah. You, you trust this foreign respawn. Uh, it's showing off a major one. And yeah, search was obviously their weak point. But throughout the qualifiers, it has been better. But you're going to one now to a high rise search and destroy where both teams are 0 2. And you can see the attack, the difference there for both of these squads. 12 and 6 there for Optic. They're doing it behind those post plan victories. Yeah, we already talked about their attack, how good it has been. We'll see if they can find the success there, capitalize off of those first bloods and locking down that site after the plant. We'll see if they can continue to dominate there. And on Carolina, we're hoping some of these, uh, you know, past S&D kind of stars with uh, Clay, Fellow, TJ, some of the historic moments they had that you're able to find some of that. Um, I just kind of figured this team, I saw like a, f a fellow come in. I'm like, all right, it's going to start. Well, that's why we were excited, right? Because they, they were like beating really good teams in respawn. And we're like, yeah. they'll figure it out in search. Hasn't happened yet. No, yeah. I, I keep thinking, you know, every day they're going to they're gonna steadily improve. But high rise search to destroy. 0-2 uh, oh for both teams. You mentioned kind of leading into this. It's always tough when you're, you're in Carolina going into the series and uh, the first two maps you don't have a win on. That's a good point. It's not usually ideal, but <laughs> that's the position you find yourself in. And this man just had a, a monstrous map number one, yeah. Shotzi. And this is a map where it's one of his favorites. He could get lost here. Oh, he's Spider-Man on this. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It, it could be his playground. First blood to fellow is... Uh, Everything just exploded. Yeah, it's just a Michael Bay film. At the start of high-rise rounds, you sort of wait for the explosions to pass, and then we get into it. <laughs> Well, and one of the explosions found Kenny, so yeah. Kenny's going to be off this round as the, the fries hit, the barrels explode. Goes off for map number one. Clay all Thought the way to the back. you were saying he also explodes, Joe. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah. 50 seconds remaining of the round and in the 3v4. Optic still looking to get this bomb planted. Can they find an opening? Shotzi, the guy looking to do it. One to fight on the site. Picks right. Hoping for him assist. He's able to get it there through the tower. Now, Diamond Cross still staying up. The man's finessing. He's a dolphin. Half spider, half kangaroo. Wait, that's three halves. That doesn't work, Joe. But he's alive and he's using the dive, right? There, there's still a use for it. But, well, Pred with the rival did not melt clay. And this is what we talked about. You have this first blood. Can you turn it into a round when maybe behind that Gwyn kill onto Shotzi, you give Fellow a chance? Ten to go. You got to plan if you're optic. Fellow will catch him. Able to get away for now. Five to go. Fred chase. And those fights are fun. There's a fence. I can't, you can't lock on him. But he dances. He stays up. And every fence can make a professional player look like me. They're important, though, because that's how you get the, the challenges done on this map, okay? <laughs> for your camos. Those count as wall bangs, all right? If you need a tip out there, there you go. But I will say, I, I, I mean, if Gwyn doesn't get that kill on a Shotzi, it's a 1v3 for Fellow. You saw the rivals kind of doing some nasty work there. It was Pred on the clay, kind of just melted him, and then we saw it there from Gwyn's point of view on a Shotzi. difference between the pros and the average player is usually when that happens to me, I lose it, I just keep shooting. <laughs> I, I never, like, stop to recenter or stop to reposition. I just keep shooting until I'm dead, and uh, never goes well. You find those spots on every map. And uh, the explosions continue to not go well for Optic Texas. Uh, first it was Kenny, now it's Pred. They want to they get active behind this. They put good damage into Fellow, and then Clay loses the one-on-one -on -one as Kenny just waltzes up the street, takes down two, Gwyn shooting dead bodies. Uh, that's one on way. On accident. That's one way to turn the round around. On accident. Kenny's taking over, that's three. He's working on an ace. 
Won't get the ace, but he gets three, and that's a big 3v4. You lose pride instantly, and Kenny just waltzes up, takes out two, gives him numbers. And again, it's like the way these first bloods are coming in, it's not like those quick trades. These are first bloods where five to ten seconds passes, right? Like, not, there's not a trade that's coming in because they're nade kills. Um, and, I mean, round one, they almost lost behind the first blood. So this is some of the fundamentals we're talking about with Carolina. Three in a row now for Kenny. Is uh, Well, he played in round two. Didn't really get a chance to get going in round one. But can you manage to not explode in this round if you are the Texas side? Will you blow up to... Ah, this time, first blood. Okay, TJ again. does it with a gun. He dash, he's gone. Three first blood now for Royal Ravens. You got to close this one out. Yeah, and That's Quinn, clean. Quinn is again. in a very aggressive... Obviously, we're going to see it from the Chichester, but he just hits underground. Now, Clay playing his life. He's got some pressure from Shotzi and Pred. Gwen looks left, wins it, looks right, can't get the last Pred. One versus four. And it's a round now to Carolina. And, well, you've, you've gotten three first bloods. You're up 2-1. I mean, if I'm off right now, I might sit in my base for 10 sessions. Like... <laughs> Seriously, like, I mean, the first 10 seconds of the round that have not gone well for them throughout all three I, rounds. I don't even know. I, yeah, I'm not sure they've made it with four players up for, like, three or five. It's, it's, <laughs> it's real quick. Somebody's it gone. Ugh. It's tough to do that on, like, defense, but especially on offense. I'm like, let's just hang out here in this office for a, for a moment. All right, well. It's defense, though, you know, so. Maybe we got a trophy. It'd be tough to do. Does anyone uh, explode? Does anyone get picked? Optic have set their high rise uh, record for survivability in round four. They're getting aggressive through blue. You already have Shotzi. A good spot watching this cross. He's got some help from Pred down low. So kind of a back to back rival set up here. One player gets through. Who is that? Gwyn behind enemy lines again. Oh. There's another first blood. Clay up again, and then Gwyn right on top of him. On it, Kenny. So now it's a one versus three for Dashy. You let one advantage scenario fall apart for you if you're Royal Ravens. The rest you have handled business. Four rounds, four first bloods, up 3 1. Yeah, I didn't see. I, I know there was a smoke beat on him. I didn't see where Gwyn went through where he hits behind everyone. And I'm thinking he's the guaranteed kill, but it's Clay that actually gets the first blood, technically. But you see the instant follow-up there from Gwyn's POV. I mean, you can't be expected to come back man down every round. You got, you got to start to get some opening picks here for Optic Texas. Is there any, what do you, what do you do? What do you change? I mean, it's, <laughs> it can be so tough, especially on a map like high-res. Yeah, I, mean, I think we saw it. We've seen it from pl different players, different teams, POVs. This could be a, a map that just gets away from you. First blood for Optic Texas, courtesy of the fucking map. Usually it's Clay who's doing that. It's not. It's his teammate and Gwyn. So now it's a four on two for Clay and Fellow. Oh, that, that's one way to get numbers. Okay. All right. That's just green wall magic, I guess. Optic Texas now, four versus two. Oh, fellow. He, he didn't see him. He does not see Kenny. So bomb, the bomb is planted. He does get the kill right afterwards, but objective is down. Is it going to make this tough or is it? We're into a two on two as Clay trying to finesse it. He has the read. You can't lose a round when Gwyn jumps off the map. It hasn't happened yet. It has not happened yet. It's a one versus one. Clay versus Pred. Clay on four in a row. Looking to clutch. And now getting that bomb planted, it's so much more significant. Time is dwindling. He's behind. And Gwen tries to gift them around, Joe. They still lose it. Well, and I was talking about the fundamentals for Carolina, right? Some of these rounds. There's another one there for Opti. You have the four versus two. And listen, this is, we talked about it, where you get a kill, not a trade right away, right? You can kind of finesse. There's all the different levels. Maybe someone's not in the position. But with bomb planted, I'm thinking that one's done. What's going on? I don't know. We've casted some wild S and Ds lately. We have. Oh, okay. Well, um, same story. Um, Optic still looking for an actual first blood. Um, 
They've had advantage for a moment, but did not end up mattering. Clay on five in a row and one away from a streak. Clay, who struggled in that map one, having a big map two here. He could be a difference maker in search and destroy. Play with a confidence you'll rarely see. And another first blood now for Royal Ravens. And there's number six for Clay. Cruise in, cruise right up, cruise going down. He's got nobody near him, so Tenny might find a freebie. He Whoa. will, and no one's near him, so the comms will be coming through. Then Dwin gets caught trying to get that trade, as now we're in a one on one. TJ, Pred. He gets eyes. TJ spots him. Whoa! Fetch. Fetch. Down to 64. Trying to go back. Whoa. Pistol hits. What? Some insane Renetti shots from TJ in the one on one. Bro, like the first, these shots were like, okay, a lot went into the pole, right? So he is, these are nutty, dude. Like through the railing. It's a fadeaway. Yeah, it's like a little bunny hop fadeaway as he drops. That was disgusting. Royal Ravens. Keep it going. Now up 5-1. The search and destroy sauce hasn't been there for him, but it's there right now. Man, it might be playing more high rise. Yeah. <laughs> Why you're seeing it in the series, at least so far for Carolina. See though, Kanopti bounce back, trying to find the first blood. Is yeah, I mean it's yeah. Outside of Gwyn, it's been all all Ravens. Yeah, I know we've said it about ten times, but yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it until they get worse. <laughs> Clay. Some damage in, can't finish it. Shotzi starting to work underground. I think he's got a teammate with him. Felony trying to find info from up top. He is finding bullets. Gwen, another first blood. This one, the first time you really had an instant trade, though, if you're Optic. Yeah, it was the barrel from Shotzi. Because <laughs> he was dead. Yeah. So Shotzi, uh, from the grave, able to find a kill. Their first bloods are coming magical ways, Joe. Because now you have a two on three. Kenny thinking about planting the bomb, but Dashie's going to get picked. So another number, number situation equalized here by Clay. Wait, Gwen's the name of the female lead in Spider Verse, right? Yeah. She'd be disappointed. Why? Because Gwen fell off the map like Spider-Man wouldn't do, yeah. Got it. Yeah. 20 seconds now to go. They're looking to close it out. Two versus one. Pred's been the last guy up. It feels like three straight rounds trying to clutch. Couldn't come through on the 1v1s. One versus Clay. One versus TJ. Now a two versus two. Little time to work with. Recoup's bomb. He gets spotted. Clay gets the kill. It's a search and destroy victory. A rare one for Royal Ravens. You dominate the map. You dominate in the first blood category. You really can't get anything going. There weren't a lot of positives for Texas in that one. Like, map one, shoo, Shotzi explodes. You've got a lot going for you. The search, though, like, I guess, I mean, obviously the one-on-ones could go differently. and Maybe the game turns around a little bit, but you can't play the entire map without advantage ever. On well, the one one round you do, you have a four on two that you lose. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you know, when there were some opportunities there for Optic, they just don't shut the door on Carolina, but props to Carolina. I mean, you're gonna look at these stats. I just, I forgot they don't, the first bloods aren't working here in Todd Hester, so you won't see that, but uh, yeah. Play nine and three, great bounce back map from him, 2000 damage. And remember, this is a map both teams row in two on, so you know, mm -hmm. not, not the bread and butter for either squad, but both teams that are looking to expand the map will certainly yeah, for this is what we saw from Optic, like versus LAG, that map one Karachi hardpoint. Yep, yep. They got smoke, but they're trying to find some more answers into their map pool. Maybe you find one if you're Royal Ravens. Yeah. You get that 6 1 victory. We are tied up now at 1 1. We get ready to head to an invasion control, followed by Rio Hardpoint. Invasion search and destroy for the map five. Uh, any thoughts just maybe on the maps and modes going forward? I mean, I think Rio Hardpoint, yeah, I think, yeah, Rio Hardpoint favors Opti 100%, but the way Invasion played in that map number one, this could come down to the rivals right on that A point. I'm looking at Shotzi and Jwin maybe to make more plays here. Well, you had a ton of plays from Shotzi in that map one. Can he do it on the control as well? Invasion of map, you can get loose at times. You can get lost. And you can make absolutely disgusting individual moments. But we're tied up 1-1. A great bounce back there from Carolina Royal Rays. Big bounce back from Clay to bring the sauce into the map to tie us up at 1-1. We get ready now for a map three, the swing game. Can you pull off the upset? Can you get the two and two overall if you're Royal Ravens? Map three, up after the break. Upgrade your game with the Scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty League.
Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator. Now available in-game in the Call of Duty Store. Season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Hello and welcome back. Uh, BAP3, ready to get going. Invasion control going to be up, tied up 1-1. If you're joining us late, welcome. Uh, Hardpoint victory for Optic. Dominance for Royal Ravens there in the map two. Uh, this is all for the Major 2 qualifier. We've got the Major coming up in Miami. Scan the QR code, get to the Major. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. Majors always have some kind of magic. Uh, if you've never been to one, they are wild. Yeah, and on top of that, you can rub Maven 10. Yep. For free. Yeah, tickets on sale. Scan the QR code. Yeah, I might be charging more than the price of the event ticket, though. You're going to be rubbing this noggin. Well, we're in Miami. I'm going to definitely have to do that with sunscreen. i got to make sure you're protected. That's true. Thank you, Joe. Protection in most scenarios. Very important. Now we get ready for map three. Optic been so strong in respawns. Take a look at the overall season here now for Invasion Control for both teams. 
statistically, you're going to have an advantage pretty much across the board if your optic continues here. Yeah, you see that really, I mean, just the attack percentage, right? First for, for optic, but pretty solid. If you are Carolina, but three and one, and their control has been fantastic this qualifier if you are optic Texas since the major. I think their cleanest game mode so far. We'll see if they can keep that up. When you start on offense now, you've been the best offensive team. Can you strike first? No trophies to work with for either side. It makes for some unique scenarios early, but you have a little bit of a split. Number eight and Dashy. He's going to get caught on the other side of it. Up the gut, though. Fred uh, nearly taking out everybody. You get your first bit of progress done on B, though. Well, behind that, Clay almost finds three. So Clay does a really good job to take down Pred, but then also finds Shotzi in the spawn. So he's able to just, well, give them map control back, right? At least get them out of spawn for free. But yeah, I thought, I mean... But they're not losing lives. That was going to be a real tough moment after Pred got two, but you're able to solidify. We help up Pred right as he gets that kill. So that was three through for Optic, and... And that'll be the opening point. It's like every time there's a multi kill, it's like Clay's answering with one of his own. And honestly, that multi kill ends up being big because you're about to finish the point. Two people spawn out deep if you're Texas. You got to trek across. You don't have an instant onslaught. No, it's really it. Clay sort of stabilized the map both times here for Carolina. They do lose B. But then on the opposite end, it's been Kenny two pieces that have opened up the attack for Opti Texas. They secure B. Now trying to get Shotzi on A. He is here. Diving across. Still very weak, though. The stun connects. Carolina deal with the first little push over towards A. Sometimes, you know, offense though, it's just if you can get a lot of those little pushes, yep. in a sense of just really just from the clock standpoint, because Optic have a four life advantage. If you can continue to get on A for a few seconds here and there, maybe you can take it out of lives or you can get an advantage, but yeah, it can be so the, hard to do. I think on Invasion sort of cafe and DVD, because that opens up the routes yeah. for your rivals. And, you know, you just kind of saw it. Trying to get aggressive is Opti up to B Street, but instead Gwyn takes down two. So now Pred has to completely slow down, wait for his teammates to come off a of spawn. Now we're going to start this next push. Stop at the cafe, get a cup of coffee, rent a rom com, and then head over to A and try to secure the map, Joe. That's it. And they secured Cafe. They got their coffee. The map's inside A, but so is Clay as he's able to find one. I have a one-on-one -on -one here near the point is uh, the pound should come through. The timing so awkward as Clay just keeps repositioning around corners. Here's him and Chow's and Dashy will drop. So you secure it for now. 60 seconds remaining in the round. Still, lives, lives, yep. lives could be important, but 50 seconds is not a lot of time. So I feel like you have got to get a presence on the point. You stop the clock. You might not need to because they've had cafe control. In, in maybe lunch, not. They, yeah, they maybe not. Every push has started from this position. You have not been stuck back Palace at all if you are Carolina. So what is this? Or sorry, if you are Optic. So now it just comes down to lives. It's, well, Kenny's able to find two. Okay. And that is going to be four dead in probably the round. Well, yeah, that'd be the cafe control leads to getting on the point and stopping the clock. So you get the best of both worlds. And now uh, two ticks done. Shouldn't matter, though, that everyone is dead. Shotzi, Dashy, find it, you get a good view of why they are one of the best offensive teams in control. Stellar stuff there. And yeah, it was just more like, it was just constant pressure. Once it, once it got there, you never really could get that comfortable if you're Carolina. Yeah, like, you weren't wrong. A, a minute with eight lives, yeah, that's not a lot of time if you're Optic, but that's if you're stuck all the way in your spawn. They just never true, were. True. They, yeah. they always had one or two players around Bidam, around Cafe, playing their life. And well, the next set of gunfights went their way every exactly. single time. If they all died there, got reset, yeah, suddenly that looks yeah. very different. But instead, uh, I think right as I said, that they got like two or three kills. And uh, yeah, really started to unravel there for Carolina. So what can you do to answer back to Carolina? You already given up an offensive round win to Optic, and you're three dead here pretty early. One player still lurking was Fellow, and he will drop. So that's a pretty clean, like, four down, which allows you to just sprint up the map if you're Optic Texas. Start to try and pin back this Royal Ravens team. Yeah, you allowed to get Pred, him and Dashi in position to lock down this tank. Nice stun, though, from Carolina using the slide to watch that cross. Shotzi, though, just going to reinforce this. He's on seven in a row, so he's got a cruise to work with. Again, finding another spree. That's what they did so well in map one, finding a cruise. And usually, like, I mean, you played invasion and control. Like, your sprees and your kills don't usually come on offense. <laughs> like, were you able to do that? Oh, clearly he's got four-shot headshot. I mean, that is a tough. <laughs> when the four-shot comes in from the NCW, you're like, how did I just die? Yeah. Because I think he has first shot on Kenny, but Kenny just snaps. Maybe one of those in, in slow-mo sort of 
hit fire headshot bullets. You know well, what I'm talking about? Yeah, no, see, back when we had, you know, uh, multipliers that maybe made more sense for the head, that's usually what it was, like the hit fire shot hit. Now it's just like, uh, damn headshot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hit fire one was kind of a joke too, but uh, it's called dude. You're getting joked in some way every time you lose a gunfight, right, Joe? I watch every joke, Jim. Yeah. 20 to go. You've had nothing to work with if you are Royal Ravens. Clay, though, he had some moments in that round one where he was the difference maker to give them a chance. Get the kill there. Now get them on the point and trying to play for the stun. Just, yeah, trying to get down as a stun hit him. That was honestly a nice play. Yeah, he uses the ladder to kind of avoid the, the stun penalty. Doesn't matter, Shotzi able to regain and again just retake this B zone. You have one tick right now if you're Carolina, and that is all you are going to get optic with a bounce back after that map two in these first two rounds. A dominant offense, a dominant defense. Yeah, you know, when I said I wanted them to come out and you know kind of fry a team, like it's like, it's like moments like this where they're just very, very clearly the, the better team. Just dominating them in this map three. A frustrating map too. Obviously, that was a that was a tough one from the optic side of it. But instant answer here: fifteen and eight for Pred, sixteen and eight for Kenny. <laughs> Tashi's that line. I mean, that's just the position he plays for this squad. But like, it looks so funny. Five and seven, forth. probably but, most damage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say he's probably leading the way probably, in damage. Probably the most damage. <laughs> uh, most assists. That's just the way it goes. Yep, it sure does. Pred. Like a firecracker lights it up at the beginning of this round. Gwen and Clay out of it instantly onto the point. Go off to Texas. Shotzi sending it forward. The pace is just there for Texas. You've been on the back foot if you're Royal Ravens. You just can't keep up. They just, well, Optic just can't stay away from these things that explode on the map. Yeah. They able to get away, but Pred with some beautiful MCW shots on the Clay off the spawn. That's five in a row. And they're attacking rounds. Yeah, kind of start behind Pred and Shotzi. Just opening up the map, staying alive. And that's what this duo, what they can do, just always having to worry about them when they get to their spots and they've been in those positions. Well, oh, talking respawn, well, any mode, the game's a lot easier when sort of your entry guys are winning their gunfights. Like, it makes everything you're doing on the map easier. And they've been doing it so efficiently throughout the course of this map. Three. That was almost four dead in, in multiple players on day. A quick yeah. transition, but they're going to use a cruise. Slow this push down from Carolina off a of spawn. But you're about to get a uh, take done, and, and Kenny's still alive. And you're up eight lives already. That's another right? cruise. Yeah, yeah, he's got another cruise. You're massively up in lives. You stopped the clock so much here. You still have two minutes to work with. Like, you could just bleed this team dry right now, probably from a live standpoint. But we'll see if it even comes to that. Or if you can just get it done the old-fashioned way onto the point. They are not losing gunfights right now. Dashy beams another. You're on it, you're stopping the clock again, you're making some progress, you have a second player to layer this with you, Kenny in just a second, the one cruise hits a rooftop, trophy out for coverage, map could be done here with some gunfight victories, one does get through, so only one person on the point, it'll slow down for now, another chance to That's retake it. this, not anymore, they're just, they're just not, not anymore, they're not losing gunfights, no, no. Uh, nobody on the team is losing gunfights in one of the most dominant invasion controls I've seen all year, um, you outslayed by like 30 something, but like, yeah, you don't usually just out slay and fry like that on offense on invasion. You just don't. And like you'll see maybe a team put up one offensive round win, but it's usually like ugly. Like you battle it out, it's down to the wire. Or like a, you get a crazy A capture at the beginning. They just beat the crap out of them. No, they really did. Uh just absolutely destroyed them. Yeah, it's just all the multi shells. You just saw it in the feed. Like, yeah. We were kind of highlighting Kenny and Clay round one, Early. but like then that kind of went away. You're going to see uh, six for TJ, seven for Fellow. On the other side, everybody positive. You know the pop-up after you play a map? I'll be like, did you have fun? They would say no. Answer is no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> no, uh, I did not. Kenny, 22 and nine. Pred right behind him with 21. And again, you had three people earn streaks similar to map one. Oh, we were wrong with Dash. Yeah. He didn't read the lead the way of damage. That we were kind of just joking. Like, you'll see that so often, though. Like, Somebody's got 40, someone's got 20, but 20 had the most damage sometimes if you're a main AR. He had a great time on that, man. Yeah, no, he was just kind of hanging out. Yeah, and that, that's just, there's a lot of pressure off of, uh, you know, Dashy probably, you know, he's been criticized at times over the years just due to whether it's been like the lack of wins or individual performance or things that have happened for him. And 
you know, sometimes he's been relied on so much to put up numbers, but when you've got talent around you and when you're winning your opening fights, like sort of his front line did in this map, like, yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> you're, you're like, great job, boys. Great job. Yeah, Keep yeah. it up. He had a great time. <laughs> We're going to go through the highlights, and a lot of the highlights are just going to be optic of this map. It's just two piece after two piece. Kenny, Fred, Shotzi, take your pick on what you want to watch, but the green wall went off. No, I think you nailed it. Um, listen, I don't have every dominant invasion control in my memory bank, but uh, this, this, the most dominant one we have casted, uh, that was just... I remember, like, some rounds where, like, teams have transitioned, but an entire map? Like, two offenses of the three, too. Yeah. Like, it, that was just an absolute optic onslaught. They're having fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. And props to them on some badge after map two, the way that went. True, true, because I think if I would ask that same question, where did you have fun? They did not on map two. No, no. It was a it was a frustrating one. Um, they were dominated, had some tough like one-on-one -on -one losses too. Like that, that was a, a little party there for the Ravens side. That's how quickly things can switch in Call of Duty and the beauty of our esport with different game modes. Like you know, you'll be crying one map, you'll be rejoicing the next. Is uh, you bring it back in that map three, you go up two one, and now you have a chance to close it out on Rio, where both have been solid. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you're Carolina, a lot of the times I feel like sub base is going to be taken away from them. Uh, they're going to need to find sub base or Karachi, right? I think they're going to need to find a another hard point map. And this could be one where you have Gwyn, right? So one of your stars can kind of go off as a sub player. I feel like this could be a good map for them. We're on the other side for Optic. Yeah, you're like the way Shotzi and Fred are playing. Let's run as many subs as we need. We have Kenny who can run the flex in a third sub. That is the strength of this roster. Yeah, no, I think um, Optic have looked strong here. I think what the loss was to Rocker, where it was sort of like Rocker beat what? They beat Ultra, they beat Optic. Um, I think FaZe just beat them on it. Like, there's been sort of this back and forth with Rio. His teams are going to, I don't know, rapidly improve or devolve, I think. It's just a new map and mode. Um, but I wouldn't take the the Rocker loss as that big of a hindrance. It's still a top hard point team. They could be very successful here. And yeah, we're Carolina Royal Ravens had some of that hard point success after Felony joined the squad. You know, you're still definitely trying to widen the map pool when you, you know, when you have something like an invasion that you're having to play with and when you're 0 7 on it now, you got to find something. Or does it just wipe for Optic as they continue through the year? Real hard point overall, 1 and 1 for Optic that lost to Minnesota, 1 and 0 for Royal Ravens. Uh, and this is probably, at least when you look through it, like as much as it's scary for Royal Ravens because of the hard point pedigree of Optic, like on paper, it looks to make their best chance like, <laughs> compared to, they didn't have a map point in the first two. So granted, uh, they look pretty good at map two despite that. Yeah, we'll see if it's now. Yeah, it's just a battle of attrition here. Can uh, Carolina bounce back? Get us to that game five where they are undefeated on invasion search. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, they've been throwing punches, right? Optic comes out, they strike first. A haymaker from Royal Ravens. You bounce right back with your own uppercut if you're Optic Texas. And then Gwen says, Daddy's here. Comes out and hits with a triple to open the map. Uh, great timing there. Gwen McGlaw was saying that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, nice start there. Able to just, yeah, they just line up. He's vending corner. Now Optic off a of spawn, their turn. They're gonna have the stuns, the nade advantage. But Gwyn continues five in a row. Can he find a cruise? What Optic has done so well in the respawns. Can Ooh. Carolina get one in their pocket? Some nice shots on a Getty. I mean, that was a nice shot from Gwyn too. Like, I, just a- No, I thought you mean onto Kenny, yeah. Oh, I thought you said from Kenny. I'm like, no, that was a snap from Gwyn. Beautiful, and there it is. Six in a row, and he got to the five, and I went like, what? It was like 25 seconds. Like, that was so, so fast in the hard point. He gets the streak. You take a 38 to zero advantage. I mean, that opener, that's just all Quinn getting a triple to start things. Now, can you turn this into more time? Two players remaining here. See where the spawns come in for Optic. Two players spawn right in front of TJ. So he might be in behind there. But to pick that up, though, beautifully. So battling on the point is fellow. Now you got a two on two near the point. Yeah, you, you had Quinn kind of taking the long route. Uh, you're going to spawn boxes here. Just kind of the way the spawns play out on this map. This fellow able to take down one, but. I think you already take this if, if you are Carolina, kind of breaking up that rotation a bit, but Pred now on five in a row. So he's able to fight on back, get some hill time, trying to snap, not easy, and Gwen takes him down, so no crews there for Optic. Uh, he's getting hit by everything. I don't even know that he knows that he was shooting at. That's, <laughs> that's what can make P2 so tough. Yeah. So <laughs> difficult. If you cannot get pushed forward, no trophies down, you're just getting bombarded. So far, so good 
for Royal Ravens. You'll get the rest of this scrap time. You're there on the rotation, and well, you kind of send two through old, two through new. If you are Optic Texas, they'll look to set up a pinch onto this point. And you got Kenny and Fred Eye, Shotzi and Dashi low, and now they'll combine through the mid-map as they go in. Shotzi, so good with the openers as we just saw, finding one here, trying to make the things easier for the squad, and Fred with a lovely double. Yeah, I mean, but that's it. That, that is the the break in. The spawns are flipped, and Carolina just had nobody middle of the map. So you kind of saw Shotzi. As soon as he jumps that box corner, gets the first kill, they all just fly on through. Now it's Carolina's turn, this time behind Gwyn, who is able to find the double. The contest is there. He's able to find his third. He's up to 12 and 5. Hello. Right, killer for Pred and Dashy. Hardpoint control with 15 seconds remaining. Despite the hot start from Gwen and maybe a frustrating P2 due to the break, you're right back in this thing if you are Optic Texas. On rotation, they've got position as well and still a player at all. Pred still winning fights at all, finally going to fall. Now you start to spread things out, but as the new hard point pops, you lose. What Shotzi drops almost instantly, so there's an opening window here for Royal Ravens. Yeah, Carolina knows this, right? One player picks up the flank on TJ, who is hitting that route. Couple of players off spawn. Shotzi through boxes, is able to find two. If he has one more bullet, maybe the third. But that's great heads up play from Carolina, just knowing the timings. But now the hill is white, and it is a battle for control. Coming out on top is Opti Dennis, four dead for Carolina. Yeah, I mean, even though it was shot to, is kind of that first death that maybe allowed for the opening, the fact he comes back and gets two, almost three, doesn't allow Royal Ravens to stabilize. It stays real messy, and now they continue to fight on the point. TJ can't quite connect. Gwyn looks to follow it up with maybe another wondrous multi-kill as he's up to 17 and 10, leading the lobby. Prud, though, right behind him. Game tied up. Yeah, I mean, the difference so far is really just that P3 break is... What was that? Pred with some insane shots on Fellow. <laughs> I imagine that was a rival. I, I don't know. Maybe Pred picked up uh, an MCW for this P5, but great shots on Fellow on that rotation. Again, you're hoping to win rotation. Yeah, the MCW. Yeah, he's yeah. Got, he got one here. I, I mean, was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That'll make a bit more sense, but still a tight one waiting for the dust to clear and who will maybe get some time on the point now. Trying to wrap in behind, it's TJ. Looking for openings, he'll be able to find one. You've almost got two minutes off of the play clock, and it's a, I mean, it's kind of like map one. That's Just very early. Messy. It's very messy, not a lot of big hold, lots of a time where the hard point's white or contested. If it's in like map one, though, it'll start to clean up the deeper we get. And I mean, after, uh, yeah, it's just, on some of these rotations, they have great approach. Carolina's so early. Behind the multi-kill, we just had Shotzi on five in a row. The subs didn't lose. 15 for Shotzi, 19 for Brett. 17 point lead throughout that first set. See who can find maybe a little bit of separation first. Still just this tug of war, but into the second set, where Gwyn kind of opened with that haymaker to start things off. There's one streak in. Gwen earned it early. He finally used it now at the beginning of this rotation, but you're still on the point if you are optic. So maybe this will be the swing. It was five in a row again for Shotzi up to 18. He's been so good in these hard points, and they're holding Carolina at bay. I mean, you call in that cruise, and then Shotzi finds three. Uh, that's tough. Yeah, that, that is not what you want to see when you jump out of that cruise. And while Shotzi continues, but it's going to be Gwyn. Finally, someone shoots back, able to take him down. Feels like in some of these hard points, it's just been all Gwyn as he continues. Yeah, no, he's been uh, that individual playmaker for Royal Ravens, where yeah, without in some the response, plays, this might be another ugly one. Well, it's like for Optic Texas, everyone's had their moment, right? Like everyone's erupted or earned a streak or had these just takeover moments. The one struggling right now, Kenny. 8 and 16, but guess what? You're up 40, you're in control, you've got the point, you're looking to close out this series, but everybody just dropped off a of spawn. Let's hop to a listen in with Optic Texas. Go ahead, go ahead, go. Let's, let's, work, this. This. let's work this together. I'm coming, Gabe. Huffle, Huffle, Clay, Fanao. Yep. I don't know where he went. Hold on, Fingle. Clay, Huffle. Clay, still Huffle, Clay, still Huffle. We're the pitcher now. Yeah, let's go ahead. Apparently, it's pretty amp, right? Huffle, 1 HP, Clay. 1 HP, guys. Friends, guys? I'll see you at Huffle. I'm running a caution, I'm running a caution. I'm running a caution. Ramp, watch, I guess. Push up, these half out to the right. Half out to the right. Under, behind half out. Behind us, sit. Alright, under half out. Come, 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 come,
Yeah, that's nice. Nice, nice job, bro. Play through it. Play through it. Right, 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 right. Okay, I got something. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. I don't see him ramp. You play the right side. I'm bumping you guys on the phone. I don't see him. I don't see him. He's just playing boxes. You guys see him? Go, 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 go. Dive in. Yo, one's on his plate. Or team. Nice, that's a two, two. I cut new, I cut new fast. I'm back to graffiti, graffiti. I'm back to back. I'm playing against something, bro. Come and tell me. He was serious, maybe. Back up, back up, back up. He's top mid. What is this? Staircase, staircase, one shot, play, staircase, one shot. Living in the back, living in the back. We spawn in the back, spawn in the back. I spawn out, I spawn out, I spawn out. Stay alive. There's dig up That's two dead. On the back, one HP in the back. Back bus, back bus, all the way in the back. Graffiti's up top. One in the back, yeah. Nice, back, three, last guy, last guy. Back right, maybe. No, no, he's spawned out, he's spawned out. Spawned out, spawned out. Mid or left. Staircase on me, staircase. I return for you, AJ, in a second. Nice ants. One, one soda, one soda. I have left time, I have left time. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 so. Be boxes, yeah. I'll, I'll get boxes. Yeah, I'll get boxes. Clay, boxes, Clay. Boxes, Clay, guys. Nice, I'm gentlemen. It's a right. really good time, really good time. I have, I have, I have boxes, guys. I have the back right. He can't boxes, find you. Clay, nice, I'm, I'm cutting boxes, cutting boxes. One on you, one on you, one on you. We get back and Pred is absolutely twisted, mate. That's a great Pred accent right there, but yeah, I mean. As soon as you go to listen, it's the end of P2 into P3. Last time at P3, it was an early break for Mopti. Same thing happens here. Carolina fought on back, but Shotzi flies through six in a row. An early rotation of P4 doesn't matter either for Carolina. Carolina have had chances to find some time, but they just have not found the kills in those moments. Shotzi, I don't know if I've ever watched a player that it's like every timing and like gunfights going his way, or like it's the total opposite and like nothing's going his way. It's just kind of the way he plays, yeah, but like, no, dude, when he's in his bag, bro, it is so fun to watch. Like, there is a rhythm and a rhyme to his gameplay, and it's a blast. And while he's going to call it a cruise right away, flies on down, hits the speed boost to help his teammate trying to get onto this hill. Fellow, though, locking down the white van, trying to play his life, has a trophy. Gwyn watching the cross. Not the easiest shots to hit, but able to connect. Is Carolina trying to stay alive in this map? And kind of similar to that map one, like, you know, it was two minutes off the play clock, like an 80 to 80 game. As crazy as the fights have been, it stabilized a bit. It's 30 points. You got a chance to push this to a map five if you're Carolina. So reminiscent in the scoreline of map one. You've stayed tight, you fought tough. Can you bring it back this time though if you're Royal Ravens or do you get shut down? It was Optic Texas in the clutch in the map one. They're doing it here in the hard point over the 200 part mark. Look at the close it out. The pinch started to develop though for Royal Ravens. Can they get him out? They'll get the kill and get him out for now, but some damage done there from Optic. Well, I mean, that's just the spawns, right? You have to, two players on Optic, and Shotzi and Preda, they just didn't lose middle of the map, and they actually spawned uh, Clay behind them. So it kind of sets up a pinch for free for Carolina, which turns into maybe the final 20 seconds of this hill going the way of the Ravens, which keeps them in the game. That 20 seconds, that would have shut them out. And that's sort of the, um, the kind of a mid hard point, right? Yeah. The central hard points. It's just so easy to split teams out. It ends up punishing you there. Get some time to Carolina. Nice tracking as one goes over the top for Clay, and then you get another Clay doing his thing. Well, now this gives them a chance maybe to win rotation to P1 behind that double. Instead of rotating all the way through, you fight through bridges, Opti, but Clay shuts you down. The multi kills coming again, though, for Optic. Yeah. Kenny was able to get two. Shotzi pred through for the final ones, and you're into the point again. Can you be heroic now if you're Royal Ravens in battle through? Do you seal the deal if you are Texas? They've got the point unlocked for now, but here comes the collapse. Dashy, winning big gunfights from the point. Soaking up time and finding the kills as well. Just holding for the next one. Stun hits though and held them back away for now. Stun, he's just been stunned up for 10 seconds. Now contested, 15 to go for Optic. Kenny though on a big pinch. Kenny on the pinch might be able to shut this down. Well. Numbers wise over to Carolina. It jumps down to a 1v1. 10 seconds left. You gotta take this scrap time, but I mean, we know how difficult it is really to hold P2 cleanly. Optics should be able to close out this series. We'll see. Or do you have some insane hold if you are Royal Ravens? Gwen with the opening. Gunny. Shotzi has been terrific. Look at for number 40 as he puts it up. 40 on the map for Shotzi. Kenny there as well, trying to clear him out of the point. Six points needed. Finessing his life, but will finally drop. Pred though there with the help. Into the point, go Optic. This should end up sealing the deal. But this is uh, highlighting what you said. It's so scrappy, you just need a couple of seconds. You can't quite get it done yet. You stabilize. 
pretty one, much this pretty pretty much much sum summarizes this series. Yeah, yeah. Right now is Carolina somehow staying alive. You hear the nades, the stun's going off. Now they gotta rotate though. 15 seconds left. Opti still throwing bodies at this. You have Kenny getting aggressive. Someone's right behind him. That's gonna be Fred. Dashie looking over him. Not there yet though. Is another double, but on rotation, you're gonna have number six in Shanti finding a second. Clay's running! Clay's running! Can't yep. quite get there to maybe contest. I thought just for a second, an opening for some late game heroics, but it won't happen. Shotzi drops 40 plus. He had a series because his map one was nutty as well. Opt to get the win. They do it through the respawns. Uh, maybe one bright note for Royal Ravens where the search and destroy struggles have come. Maybe high rise starts to be a map for you, but you get bodied up, especially uh, just from a slang standpoint, the response, like it, it, it was tough at times. Yeah, let's say it evens out a little bit here when we look at the scoreboard, right? They started to fight on back. I think really since that P5 when we were hopping on board with Clay. Uh, I mean, fellow struggles on the other side. Yeah, 43 from Shotzi, 36 from Pred. Almost this 7K is uh, damage. Whew. Yeah, this duo on Rio can go crazy. On the other side of it, if you're Carolina, I think you look at both hard points, like there were chances for us to win. There were. Two P3s on this map specifically where Carolina is there. And I mean, you just have someone fly through and piece them up, can't happen. Yeah, it just felt like, I don't know, Optic just through some individual moments or the entry kills from Shotzi and Pred all series, like they were just making the game hard for Carolina. I know you could say it same the other way, but like, they were just too comfortable. Like when Shotzi's playing like that, when his POV looks like that, you know what I mean? You're just like, uh-oh, yeah. uh-oh, like have fun dealing with that. He's just gonna be annoying. And here's uh, just a recap of the series. Close hard points. The other two modes not close. Carolina able to win that high rise SD, but the invasion 